I'm building a new personal computer for myself and I thought it would be cool to make a video to show the assembly process and talk a little bit about part selection. It's just a hobby build and I think the video will be fun. Enjoy! I will briefly talk about the selection of components. The main purpose of this system will be development and video editing. Because of the video editing requirement, I had to go with an Intel system. If you get an Intel processor with an iGPU, you can use Intel QuickSync to utilize the excellent Intel hardware encoding and decoding. I went with the Core i5-12400 because of the value proposition. For the case, I chose the Fractal Design Pop Mini Air. The Pop Mini Air I bought is a micro ATX case, but it also has ATX and eATX versions. The motherboard is the ASUS ROG Strix B760 MATX. It's the Wi-Fi and DDR4 version in white. I'm building a B760 system so that I could potentially upgrade to a 13th or 14th gen CPU if their value becomes better in the future. The GPU I'll use is an ROG Strix 2070. I got this used for a good price. I'll use an all-in-one cooler by Fractal, their new woman series. I bought this one for two reasons, I'm hoping it will be silent and primarily I like how it looks. I start by installing the CPU on the motherboard. I have ordered a thermal take bracket for this Intel socket which is supposed to improve cooler contact and prevent bending of the die but until it arrives I'll use the stock Intel bracket. Next, I installed the two sticks of RAM. I decided to go with DDR4 primarily because of value and motherboard availability at this time. I removed the heatsink and installed the NVMe SSD. My experience with Samsung SSDs has been great. They have been faultless in my systems and the performance is also great, but at this point they are my go-to brand for storage. I need to install the support bracket for the all-in-1 cooler, which is a bit tricky, but the instructions of the fractal cooler were ok. The bracket accepts spacers on the front side of the motherboard, which is pretty standard. I clean the CPU die with an alcohol wipe that was included with the cooler and I apply thermal paste which I spread with a plastic spatula because I want full contact. The CPU cooler had some pre-applied thermal paste in a circular pattern but I cleaned it and applied my own. After installing the block, I move it a bit pressing down on the die to make sure the thermal compound is spread, is spread well and there is full contact with the die. I tighten the cooler in a crisscross pattern Now that everything on the motherboard is set up, I prepare the case for installation. By disassembling as much of it as possible, this would give me better access to all components. Thankfully most modern cases have great access and this one is no exception. I'm able to remove the two side panels and the front panel. I install the motherboard in the case. The next step is to add all of the necessary cables to the modular power supply. To power this I need the standard 24 pin connector, two CPU connectors for the motherboard and two PCIe connectors for the GPU. I plug the wires to the motherboard off camera and now I can mount the all-in-one cooler. I secure the radiator with the 8 included screws from the top. The next step is to cable manage. I start by sorting the cables a bit and identifying their routes, as best as I can. My plan is to have 3 channels going down to the basement. One from the front I.O., one from the motherboard side, where the 24 pin connector is, and one from the CPU connector down. After a little bit of time sorting and untangling, I got it to an acceptable level and I'm happy with it. I can get it looking neater if I tie down the cables at more points. This would make them straighter, 
but I also want to keep it easy to service. And tying cables on too many points makes it hard to change a cable or add a new one to these routes. The last step is to install the GPU. I do that after cable management because the GPU cables are coming from the bottom directly from the basement and I won't route them or tie them at all. 